All right, how's it going, y'all? So this right here is a NAS, specifically a Synology NAS. And this video is gonna go over five reasons why you absolutely should have a NAS, either for your house, or especially if you're a business owner, in your office, as these are a critical part of any business and they're awesome for home use as well. So before we go into all the reasons why you should absolutely have a NAS, I do want to go over a basic primer for what a NAS is for those who do not know. For those who do know, there are timestamps down in the description below. So this right here is a NAS, and there's many different brands. Synology is one of them. You can also build them yourselves, but I'm gonna be talking about NASs in general today. And what they are are basically hard drives with brains. That is really fundamentally what a NAS is. So with a regular hard drive, you can only plug it into one computer at a time. But with a NAS, the hard drives are actually plugged into a server. It is a full-blown server inside. It's got its own CPU RAM, just like a computer. And that is what makes it so special. What they allow you to do is they allow you to access files from multiple computers at the exact same time. That's what NAS stands for, Network Attached Storage. So if you're used to something like this, an external hard drive that you can only plug into one computer, a NAS is different. NASs do not talk over USB or SATA or anything like that. Instead, they talk over network. That is what they are, network attached storage. So what they do is you plug them into your Wi-Fi router or network switch, and then anywhere in the house, you can access them. And most of them also have options to access them remotely as well. And so that is the big difference between something like this, a standard external hard drive, and this, which is a full-blown NAS. The other thing you'll see right here, this NAS has multiple hard drive bays up front. And so what you can do is you can attach multiple hard drives into this thing, and they make them that go all the way up to 12, 24, pretty much as many hard drives as you can buy. You can stick in larger and larger NASs. And they allow you to combine them all into one big pool of storage. And they also have a thing called RAID, which can give you redundancy. I have a ton of videos talking about this, so we're not gonna go super in depth on them, but they've got a lot of awesome features compared to just a standard external hard drive or even a standard RAID box. So to summarize, a NAS at its most basic is basically a hard drive that multiple computers can access over the network. But as I'm gonna talk about in the rest of this video, there is so much more that these things can do, including running apps to back up your phone and photos, all the way to sharing links out with external people and so many other things. That's because NASes are not just file servers. They can act as full-blown servers for your house or business. And so before we get started, I do wanna say, if you'd like to hire me, there's a link for that down in the description below. I set these up for businesses and home users all the time and just general IT, so check the link down in the description below. Okay, this video is going to be all pros. It is five reasons why you should have a NAS, I've also got a video on five reasons why you should not have a NAS to contrast this video. So click that down in the link in the description to get the full pro and con list of NASs. And the number one reasons why you should have a NAS is the fact that you can access all of your files from any computer. So every NAS will let you access files in the local network and most NASs will have a way through either a VPN or something like that to access all of your files from your phone when you're on the road anywhere in the world. As long as you've got internet connection, you can access the files on your NAS. And that is so useful. Having a centralized repository of all of your files and not having to worry about the fact that, oh, hey, it's on that other computer, or oops, I forgot to migrate it when I got my new computer, is so nice. Having a centralized location for all of your files and one place to back everything up is so useful so you never lose files and you can just store them for years and years. This is often overlooked, but anybody who's ever been at like a dentist office or a car mechanic and needed a file that was on their home computer knows it is very frustrating. And having all your files in one place that can be accessed from any device cannot be understated. The ability to just have a centralized location for all of your files and one place to back everything up is so useful and makes your life so much easier. But first, I'd like to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's video, Delete Me. Did you know that your personal data is sold online by data brokers? You have the right to stay private and protect your personal data. 
data brokers or corporations that collect a huge amount of personal information, like phone numbers, addresses, and even your relatives from a variety of sources like government public records and social media. They then aggregate this information into listings or profiles and then sell it to either other data brokers or other organizations who have an interest in your private data. Having this information out there increases the risk of being a target of identity theft, which has been made easier by the prevalence of personal information online. And that's where Delete Me comes in. Delete Me can help protect you from the risks of identity theft by removing your personal data from hundreds of data brokers online. They will then provide a privacy report showing what data they were able to find and remove, and will continue to monitor and repeat removals as required. I personally have used Delete Me and recommend it to help protect your personal information. Get 20% off Delete Me US customer plans when you go to joindeleteme.com slash rex and use promo code rex at checkout. That is code R-E-X at joindeleteme.com slash rex. Thanks again to Delete Me for sponsoring today's video. Now back to the video. Next up for number two is NASA's in general are going to be far better at protecting your files than standard computers. They have features like RAID, checksum file systems, copy on write file systems, snapshots, and tons of other features that allow you to really get a hold of your data and make sure that in 10 years, all of your files are great. The amount of photographers I meet who have all their files going back the past 20 years on external hard drives that have not been powered on for years is astonishing. It is really common and people often think that they can just leave a hard drive off and if they ever need the files on there, they can just power it on and it'll be fine but hard drives are not meant to stay powered off for years. The lubricants dry out and they just fail. And so that's a really nice thing about NASA's. When you've got all of your files in one place on one drive, it can do a thing called a scrub where it checks all the data on all the drives for bit rot, where basically the hard drive has forgotten information and gotten information wrong and automatically repair them without you doing anything. They can also make sure that if you get ransomware and you accidentally get a virus on your computer that encrypts all the files it has access to, they've got snapshots that allow you to undo that easily. There are so many powerful features that NASA's have to protect your data from both yourself as well as just bit raw and failures in general. Most NASA's have file systems that are self-healing. That means that if somehow a hard drive flips a one to a zero or a zero to a one, the NASA itself can detect it and fix it before it's an issue. There are so many great things that NASA's do to really protect your data. And by having it all in one place, it makes it very easy to back up. And so they're really good at protecting your files, especially years and years down the line. For me, I know that as long as my files make it on my NAS, I know that in 10 years from now, I'm going to be able to find them and access them exactly as I could today because I know the NAS is protecting itself and I know when I need a new NAS, I'm just gonna bring the data all over with it and not lose any files. And that is such an important reason to get a NAS is you can just organize and keep all of your files and have them protected for years and years to come. So the first two reasons there are really focused on even just a single person with it. But the reason why pretty much every office on the planet has a NAS is because multiple computers and multiple people can be accessing the files at the exact same time. And even some softwares like Excel will let multiple people be in the exact same file at the same time, each working on different parts of it and then merging in together. That's because the NAS actually has a brain. It is not just like a regular hard drive that is just plugged into one person's computer and that's it. Instead, it is essentially handling all the files itself and allowing computers to talk to it to bring the files on in and send them out to the different computers. That means that multiple people can have access to the exact same files at the exact same time. Every single program that's working on the NAS will work differently. Some of them will actually allow multiple people to be in the same file at the same time and merge those changes on in together. Some of them will say, hey, such and such is already in this file editing it. If you'd like, you can either open a read-only copy or open a copy that is under a different name. And so it depends on the exact program you're using, but just having the ability for anybody to open up any files is so useful. You no longer have to store multiple copies of the exact same file on multiple computers, trying to figure out which one is the most recently modified. 
because everybody's pointing to the same files every single time. It is incredibly useful for offices, making sure everybody has the most update version, but it's also really useful for home users who wanna make sure that they don't end up creating 50 duplicates of all of their photos because everybody's copying them to their own computers to see them. Instead, there's one repository of all the family photos and all the family documents that serves as the single source of truth. And you never have that case where, oh, I'm gonna copy all of these to my computer as well, so I've got access to them. Then five years down the line, you've got 12 copies of the photos because everybody's just been doing that and nobody figured out how to merge everything together properly. Instead, there is a single source of truth where all photos end up and all important files end up. And that just makes your organization so much easier, even for home users. So the first three reasons I talked about there are all things that Google Drive and Dropbox can do. Now you do have a monthly subscription for those and people do not like monthly subscriptions, but obviously this also has a cost to it. But the big difference with a NAS is you own your own data. You can physically feel it, you can see it, you can tell exactly where all of your files are stored and you make sure that it's not being used to train the next AI model or anything like that. It is a private way of storing your files because only the people you grant access to can access these files. You can make sure that you know exactly who has access and you don't have to worry about the next cloud provider coming along and using this to train some model or even just sell you better genes. So it's a way to privately own all of your data and you own it. You will never have a case where Google Photos goes through and says, sorry, we are going to keep all of your photos and start charging you every month for them. Oh, and if you want to remove them, you have to go through this kludgy Google takeout process to download all of them. And sorry, we stripped out all the metadata from them because they're just files. It is a file server. And if you don't like an update, you just don't update. It is in your control and you have the ability to move your files from one place to another because they're just files. They're your files and you don't have to worry about somebody else changing the rules on you and you losing access to your files or all of a sudden having to pay for a monthly subscription fee. And so especially for privacy oriented people, a NAS just has a very safe haven of, I know where my files are stored, I know exactly how my computer is accessing them, and I know that nobody else is just using them for any other information other than myself. And so that is another reason why a ton of people use it, and that is reason number four, is privacy and just data ownership. The fifth reason is something I have refrained from talking about for the most of this video, and that is everything else a NAS can do. I wanted to keep this very agnostic to the exact NAS you buy, but a NAS is not just a file server in most cases. QNAP, Azu Store, Synology, so many other NAS providers do way more than just give you access to your files. They instead act as entire servers. For home users, Synology has an app called Synology Photos that allow you to store and share out all of your photos and back up your phones. For business owners, you can set up an internal website to track people's time cards. There are so many features and so much capability within these boxes because they are not just file servers. They are full-blown servers and pretty much every NAS will let you deploy what's called a Docker container. And that means you can do pretty much anything in the world you want. Docker is basically a standardized way to deploy servers and services. And so the vast majority of services you might wanna deploy have an option for Docker. And that is so valuable. Pretty much anything you need to deploy, you can on one of these things. And this is great for business owners who actually need to do these things, home users who actually want to use the features, but there's also all those people who want to learn how networking works, want to learn how servers work, want to be able to tinker around and rebuild and test stuff out. Honestly, a two-bay Synology was my first true server and it taught me tons. They are a great starting place for people who want to learn how servers work and it's a great place to tinker, even if it's not something you necessarily need. But overall, NASes are just not file servers. They can do so much more in so many cases. There's a lot of options out there and really which NAS you go with likely will dictate what features you will get. So definitely look into that. But pretty much all of them will be able to deploy Docker containers that let you do anything you want as long as somebody has built a container for it. So there's tons of other reasons why NASes are great and why you should absolutely have one. 
And reason number five is all of those reasons. There's so much that one of these things can do that you can't just put it all in one video. It really comes down to there's not a lot of things that a NAS cannot do versus all the things a NAS can do. So that's going to be reason number five and pretty much the end of this video. If you have any other questions, put those down in the comments below. If you want to hire me, there's a link for that down in the description below and have a good one. Bye.